Far Yarns is one of the world's largest sales yarn companies. So it produces no end consumer product, but it's in the supply chain for numerous uh, companies uh, throughout the U.S. and actually worldwide. Our yarns go into uh, many, many applications, primarily protective apparel and uh, residential and commercial carpet yarns. Far and the town have, have really been uh, inexorably linked uh, from the uh, beginning because this is a town of 600 people. Far Yarns is a company with 1,200 employees and all uh, 1,200 of our Carolinas based employees are within about a 12 and a half mile radius of uh, the center of McCaddenville. At Far Yarns, we produce about 850,000 pounds of polyester BCF yarn every week. What we do is we take raw material pellets such as these polyester recycled contents and we extrude them into filament yarns for the carpet industry. We start on the third floor by spending 10 hours drying polyester chip. We then melt it, push it through a spinneret, it falls some 30 feet where it's drawn and texturized and wound in a single process. As we melt the chip from the third floor, it continues all the way through the first floor. And that strand, we're trying to make it hours and hours and hours. A package of yarn is about 10 to 11 miles of yarn, so we're trying to make 100,000 miles in a given day without a break. The yarns that we make here have a lot to do with the military. And I have one daughter that was actually in the fire and she survived it. A couple of broken bones, but you know, she survived it. It was turned over at Humvee. But uh, as far as the fire was concerned, there was no burns. Uh, and that's what we do. We, we make that yarn here. I think one of the, the great pleasures of being an employee of Far Yarns is that realization that you're part of something that has stretched all the way back to 1939. We're closing in on our 75th anniversary. You're part of a family-owned company, but you're also continuing to be able to manufacture with pride in the United States. And, and that has, you know, that's been a success story that very few in the textile uh, business uh, have been able to claim.